This episode of Capes of Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Recording has started. Hey, uh, hey there, Newcastle crew. It's me, Phil. Don't panic. Lilith is not here. She couldn't make it. I think... I think she read this book and got flustered, but, uh, you say, why this music? Well, one, we'll give you the Newcastle music, but two, we're talking a, uh, book, a John Constantine book that's not, he's not the title character, we're talking the newly released today, Batman, damn, number one. Oh, you said damn. I know. That's right. But, like I said, Will could not be here, so we'll be back when we come back in the fall with, uh, which are talking Constantino Legends, but joining me tonight, funny that we're talking Batman, DC Super Fan himself, well, themselves, Tyler and Solo. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Phil. Good to be back. Good to see you. That felt, yeah, like, long, that, that felt like a long intro. I felt like a Kevin Smith intro. Oh, uh, it's all good. People are like, hey, who's that guy? I'm like, yes. It is I, Tyler. It has been way too long. I'm trying to get this away. Talking from Batman. I am. But yeah, this is the first uh, issue of DC's black, mature black label. And okay, so it's a limited series. All the li- all the black label books are going to be limited series. And I'm trying to remember how many books this is going to be. I think I it said. Three. Did it say three? Yeah, I think it's three. And it's and, bo- and it's uh, like every other month because the next issue yeah. of this doesn't come out till November twenty first. Yeah, I, I saw that and I was like really bummed after. I was like, man. But it, but it has a very supernatural feel, and like the next issue is not going to be out till like close to Thanksgiving. I'm thinking they should have waited or bumped stuff around so that they could have had an October issue because yeah, it's, it's actual it's- Halloween. I mean. It's th- I mean, I believe Halloween's on a, uh, the 31st is on a Wednesday. They should have dropped one of these issues on October 31st. They I mean, know. Brandon, come on. Yeah, I mean, it would have made a lot more sense to maybe lead with a different book. as the, You know, the black label, like, <clears throat> hit, hit, maybe, I don't know, that one book we've been teased for how long called, what is it, Phil? Oh, you know, uh, Three Jokers. No! Nah! Wasn't so. it hit by the Eagles? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I didn't realize. Did they say anywhere that this was going to be like large? It's, this, is, this is like magazine uh, format because I was talking to the guy at the store because I was like, oh, you don't, have, you don't have a bag for this, dude. He's like, yeah, I do. So I, I was lucky enough to get a uh, bag and board that are magazine size. I, I knew it was supposed to be like in a pristine format. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know like anything else. Um. Yeah, I don't think they said that, but um, yeah, it's six. It's six. It was six ninety nine. Um, it was really it's, weird because I was like, I was looking, I was like, oh, I wonder, you know, if it if it's just gonna look like a regular comic book in digital form because I was looking for it digitally and I didn't see it on DC's app. It was weird. Well, they they had to a bridge if digital versions. It, it, I don't know if it's out yet or not, but I did see, I guess there, it is going to be a digital version, but on the digital version, they're censoring uh, the Batman nudity. Yeah. So if you want to see Batman's little chum, you, you have to pick up the hard copy. <laughs> hard copy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I mean, warning, I mean, this, this is adults, uh, I mean, mature readers, it's on the back. <laughs> says mature readers i mean you get you get bad language i mean i, I saw at least one f word in here but yes content i mean batman, I also, goes, batman goes full dr manhattan this. <laughs> i was sitting there and I was, I was wondering you know it's libra Hino doing the art and i love his art and i wonder if like this batman you know like not that they're all like really tightly tied in together but the idea that this is still the same Batman that we were with in Noel mm-hmm. and in because the same bat suit, you know, and it's still he's got that same kind of you've read Batman Noel like it's got that same gruff 
gruff hardness that he has in that. Yeah. That's why I'm, so, I'm, I'm just wondering if maybe because th- if it's black label, they're like, oh, don't worry about continuity. You know, it's not like, you know, it's all right. like regular continuity. Or- and, th- and that's the kind of the joy about the black label is that's why. I, <laughs> so how about you give us a quick summary, Phil, of the story? Uh, and, and talk about it. Like, well, space. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> oh, yeah, spoilers, and I'm. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm spoiling the lead. I mean, it's on the back cover. It says the Joker is dead. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, that's kind of that's, that's why I'm like I don't know if anything in this is what it appears to be because there's supernatural magic involved and like the very first thing like Batman wakes up in an ambulance and it's like oh the Joker's dead. It's so it's like, and that's why in another way it could mean the Joker is dead. I mean, Maybe. They could. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because it is non really continuity, it's its own thing, which I'm fine with. I have missed Elseworlds tales. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, with the inclusion, like uh, you know, this is Newcastle Crusoe. I mean, Constantine is in here. We get what appears to be Dead Man and Zatanna, and maybe an Enchantress. So yeah, I'm thinking. I don't know if maybe Enchantress is like in Batman's mind looking at his like worst fears because we do get these glimpses of like almost like a flashback and it looks like Thomas Wayne might be cheating on Martha. Why is that name? That's like I, I I honestly I read this today and I and I told James, my uh, co host on Krypton Report, I was like, You have to read it, but after you read it, read it again. And I hadn't had a chance to read it a second time because I feel like the the, the story is being told through this narrator. Mm-hmm. And once you like learn who the narrator is, I'm like, man, I kind of want to reread it <coughs> because I didn't realize that's who the narrator was. Yeah, but I mean, and- we get all, we get all these mystical characters, and then at the end, we get like you know a church and uh, like a like a Joker Christ on the cross and stuff. That, I mean. That was intense. So I mean, I mean, there's so many things. I mean, it could I. Maybe could it, could Batman be in hell and be seeing you know like his greatest fears and stuff you know like oh you know maybe I crossed the line and killed the Joker the stuff with his parents I you know that's like okay maybe Constantine's trying to drag him out of hell because I'm thinking something's up because unless it's just because it's a mature content book and they wanted to throw it in I don't remember Batman ever being this naked yeah I mean see that's that's where it kind of throws me. I mean, when it's, Batman, uh, when Batman, when you get a book where Batman's more naked than Constantine, something's up. With it being a black, you know, like the black label books. Yeah. I, it's very hard to like look for clues like that. Yeah. Um, you know, and it is kind of weird. Like, I mean, there is a reference here. Where is it? Hold on. I'm looking for the line. Oh, w- oh, wait a second. Way to play up the stereotype, DC. It's black label, so it's bigger. <laughs> okay, so you ready for this? Yes. This is a quote from the narrator. Ever wake up, not know where you are? Can be a disorting so you suss out you're in a hotel. Or you hear some pickup snoring through a hole that not long ago you were sucking at intimately. The Batman book just referenced the glory hole. Yeah, I know. I know. I was like, damn. Batman, damn. Yeah. So, I mean. Cause I, I know. I, I read that. I When I was reading this, I read that line like two or three times. I'm like, are they referencing what I think they're referencing? And I was just like, holy cow. And I mean, it's. Is it? It's a. It's good. I'm going to say that. Like, it's definitely thought provoking. Mm-hmm. This Batman. It's very disoriented, and he's very like angry. Yeah, and then you like you get the homeless guy screaming about the devil and stuff, and and like I said, it kind of like you know, is he talking about Batman? Is he talking about something else? Like, what is the homeless guy talking about? Because honestly, Batman is very quiet in this story. Yeah, that's what I'm. Th- that's what I'm thinking. He, that's that's why I'm saying something's going on. Either like a mental attack, or he's stuck in hell, or something. But no, this like towards the end when he's walking into the church, 
And it says, your nightmare Gotham continues for a minister, a rabbi, and a priest were simultaneously abducted just minutes ago. You know what that reminded me of? What? Like a joke, like, you know, like a priest, a rabbi, and, you know, walk into yeah. a bar. I'm thinking, is this the Joker, maybe? Like, I wonder, you know, it's like, it's easy to say, like, <clears throat> is it Scarecrow like, kind of, like, messing with him? That's what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking it might, odds are it might be the Enchantress or something, because you got um, all these supernatural characters, or what appear to be all these supernatural characters. I think there's magic involved. I'm really hoping yeah, it's, it's something where... It's tail broke. His tail broke? Okay, buddy. I'm really hoping it's something along the lines of kind of something happened, and maybe Batman ran into the Enchantress, and he's kind of like in a pocket mystical dimension. And Constantine's the and Devin are trying to break in and get That's him. what I'm thinking. I mean, especially with, like, think of the title of this book, Batman Damned. Is Batman in hell and is Constantine trying to get him out of hell? Or like a purgatory type. Yes! Thing. He's on the brink. Because the first thing in this book, he wakes up in an ambulance. What if his heart stopped, really stopped? In a, what if he's still laying in that ambulance and, like, his heart stopped or something? I mean, it's... I'm very, very, like intrigued by like the story because it's one of those that it ropes you in mm -hmm. it gives you enough to really like enjoy the story but at the same time it doesn't give you enough to really know where it's going yeah so i mean we have constantine there and I, the way Constantine's there and pops up and appears, and he makes a comment about Alfred, because Batman calls for Alfred, and there's no communication back mm -hmm. from Alfred. So, <clears throat> Constantine shows up. Because in the panel where Constantine shows up, uh, Batman says, you know, you're not the butler. And he says, like, the butler had to take the night off. The butler had to take time off. So right there, just flat out tells you that Maybe something else is going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have, they're trying to reach Batman, but... The I, mean, I mean, something's going on, because, I mean, Batman's suit attacks him, the empty bat suit attacks Bruce Wayne, and naked Bruce Wayne, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we're not seeing... We see... Where is it? We see Commissioner Gordon, and I do want to add, though, I like the way that people look when they're possessed by dead man. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the fact that Dead Man, his suit is like the red on his suit. He looks like it's muscle. Yeah, with no skin on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really creepy, but could work. And Zatanna, like, the way Zatanna appears, like, we know it's her, but it's never said. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, are they trying to break into Bruce's mind somewhere? And I mean, I'm looking like at the artwork. There's a moment. Uh, uh oh, we have an emergency. Phil, talk. Okay, yeah. uh, this is funny. This happened to me last night, but uh, yeah, this is this is very weird. Like I um, said, uh, this is a magazine size uh, like size thing. I'm glad DC's doing this every other month because I mean, seven bucks, seven bucks every month, even though it's only a three issue series, might be like a little. But I I wonder if they're gonna do like a difference. For, like a like the same kind of format? Are they going to collect this in a trade? I wonder if it'll be a hardback, hardbound. Like, yeah, but I wonder if they're going to do like the same size, even. Or I'm just curious about the digital. It's like, is it going to look exactly like every other comic, or are they going to do something different with this? Or is it going to be like a wider screen or something? Or I don't know. I uh, and big question. <laughs> Depending how they do the digital, is it going to be six ninety nine, just like the hard the hard copy, or is it going to be like cheaper, like a regular format I, comic price? I bet it'll be. See, that's that's why, like digital comics and me don't always get along. Well, that's like I'm like, well, oh, I mean, I usually get hard copies, but it's like you're going to charge people the same price for digital as a hard copy. I'm like, I'm going to go for a hard copy. That's why I never. At least it'll be worth, I, even if it's only worth like a buck or two, I mean, it'll be worth something eventually. Digital ain't going to be worth anything. And and you can't say, hey man, borrow this. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the artwork, and there's a point where Batman is naked on the ground in front of his bat suit. 
Yes. It's a different bat suit. And then the next scene is him in a similar position, crouched down, as pretending to be a homeless bum. Oh, yeah. So I'm looking at the artwork, and I'm kind of wondering if there's parts where maybe Batman is in the Batcave, and he's, like, going in and out of uh, his psychosis or something. Because he just, he just seems out of it. And it's kind of hard because it's a Batman, like I said. It's a Batman and, like, the characterization that we've, we're not used to. And it, it, it very much re- reminds me of the Brahimo, Batman Noel, or the little bit we see Batman in the uh, Batman Joker, which was also mm-hmm. written by Alex Rollo. So <clears throat> I kind of look at those t- that take on the character because it's the same suit. But Batman is definitely very hard. But like you were saying, Thomas Wayne in this seems like he did something. And I'm wondering, like you said, about if he's in purgatory or if he's bat- something happens and Batman's like soul is descending to hell or something. Mm-hmm. Like if like all his worst fears or he's being tortured using the things that he loved. Like, it's something as simple as the Enchantress has him messing with him. So, yeah, I just wonder because, like, in the end, when Constantine's in the church and saying, "Oh, the Joker's dead," or he isn't, and you know, do you believe in an afterlife? And then the final page is spoiler alert: it's you know, Joker Christ on the cross, and it's just, I, it could. Be, I'm thinking, I mean, hell where it's supposed to look like hell because, I mean, who would be like you know, a savior or a godlike figure in hell, the joke, you know, the joke. Yeah, I mean, think the about, Joker. try to think about maybe, like, the rules and stuff that were established in Constantine and Hellblazer comics of what the depiction of hell is. I just think it, it's probably, it, it's, it, they're going to play it like, oh, you, you know, it, he hallucinated, he's in hell, but it's going to be like, really? Or did he really go to hell? You know, it's going to be one of those things where you can Either way, you can believe what you want. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't want it to be like like it's straight up a hallucination, mm-hmm. you know, or or something like that. I wanted to actually Batman be experiencing something, and I want to see him actually work with Constantine because as much as this story is about Batman, mm-hmm. this is Constantine. Oh yeah, because spoiler alert. Constantine's the narrator that we're experiencing. Are we sure he's the narrator? And, okay, well, I was going to say, he has the go, great line. Let's go, Daddy. He goes right there, buddy. He has the oh, great... Yeah, he, and, I mean, in the beginning, he he says you're unreliable con narrator, con John yep. Constantine, but then I just wonder through the whole rest of the book if it's still him or if we're supposed to believe it's him. So, and that's the thing about the book that's so interesting is we're getting stuff... So we don't feel completely lost, but at the same time, we get no clue to what the real story of what's going on is. Mm-hmm. All right, buddy, play. Play. He's talking. And, and I also wonder if this is really Constantine, or I know this book probably isn't in continuity, but like when he when he says when when like Batman's calling for Alfred, and doesn't Constantine say, "Oh, the butler took the night off" or whatever? I'm like, wait a minute, Constantine, you know. Unless, yeah, unless different continuity or, continuity or whatever, Constantine shouldn't know Alfred's the butler. So, but what I'm, I'm, they're gonna play this as like a big hallucination or something. I don't know. I like I like him being at Elseworld. I missed Elseworld t- tales. Mm-hmm. The most Elseworld tales that we've got recently has been um, the the Earth One stuff. What the Injustice line and the Earth One? I think is really the only. Elseworld type stories that we've got, and everything else has been in continuity somehow. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, most of the Batman Elseworlds we've gotten lately have been like the animated stuff, like that Batman Ninja. And- yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's good to like Elseworld tales are fun, and I think that's kind of this is basically like a mixture, a hybrid of DC. It's like DC characters in the Vertigo world, mm-hmm. where it's DC characters, but they're under a much more serious label and i'm okay with that yeah yeah i mean they should they, they need to do a constantine like this which i'm sure eventually they probably will i mean they will because i mean look what are the characters that are they doing first batman then, then we have what superman 
year one with by Frank Miller, which I'm very torn about. Are you gonna Are you gonna freak out when you see Superman's uh, genitalia? I'm like, Man of Steel, <laughs> Woman of Tissue Paper. Oh, that's a line from uh, Yeah, um, Earth One Volume Two. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> um, but I I highly recommend if you're a Batman fan, even if say you don't like the story, the artwork is worth it alone. Yeah. Every piece of the artwork is so detailed that you could hang it up as a painting. And I mean, Constantine fans. I mean, Constantine basically just acts like a narrator. He might be, he might be a guide, maybe kind of trying to get Batman out of hell. But so, but I mean, yeah. Next issue. I mean, I bet you Constantine plays a bigger part in this, at least towards the end. And I really hope. I mean, that was kind of the thing. You know, another thing is just. Lee Brahimo very rarely does a book. Uh Kind of like Alex Ross in the sense that they do a lot of variant cover type work because their Uh art is so detailed that when they do a book it means something. I mean, they don't... Yeah, you're talking about the Superman year one, so they're not all going to be like this, but you know what what they should do to tie a lot of these black label books together? Do like different I mean, they all can be like kind of horror or supernatural, but like t- tie them together with different themes and different characters, and have like your link to all of them be Constantine. That could be cool. Instead, just, of, you know, like Tale from the Crypt, but instead of the Crypt Keeper, you have like John Constantine. I just I want stories that work yeah. that constitute being in the black label. Yeah, like Batman Damned does. Yeah. Um, the Three Jokers is supposed to be under the black label. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of cool because that it's also weird because technically isn't the Three Jokers part of continuity because it was referenced in continuity. And I mean, we're still, we haven't experienced the end of Doomsday Clock, which does that tie? I, I don't know. I um, guess, I guess maybe all of these aren't don't have to be out of continuity, but maybe they're just like, we want to do a darker take for, you know, for the three Joker story, so it's co- it's in continuity, but we're not going to put it in a regular book, because... When, when is the next issue of Doomsday Clock? Uh, Doomsday Clock. I keep, I keep losing track because it's every other month or every whenever they decide to release it. It's, they said every other month, but it seems like it's been longer, almost. What, what was the last issue that came out? Six. Six... Six, six. They already came out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's look at Doomsday Clock. Big change in the story. Doomsday Clock seven. Uh oh, maybe next week. On the twenty sixth. Looking, it looks like it's saying the twenty sixth. Yeah. I'm putting that. Up. So yeah. I'm so behind. So wait. So if it's every other month, so so next, so then next week, and then the Doomsday Clock eight might not be out till. <laughs> Close to Thanksgiving, like like this. I don't Man. even remember when, when did Doomsday Clock start. I don't even remember. Was well, it was, wasn't it before the summer? Yeah, I'm like I don't because it was like monthly, and then all of a sudden it just. Which I mean, that's fine. I mean, if you want to try to keep up the quality and stuff, but I mean, DC. I mean, you're put. Like I said, I appreciate this getting put out every other month because it's a seven buck issue. Yeah. But and I mean. So- I mean, you're you're they're slipping into more and more. You know, they were putting out books twice a month. Now we got this. You got Doomsday Clock. They're only really coming out every other month. I mean, Marvel hammering you <laughs> with all these books. I mean, that was the thing. Is like those, these special books. Yeah, I mean, I honestly I miss when Superman was bi weekly. Yeah. Let me play a little bit upstairs on the bit. I mean, now it's monthly and me. It's just, I don't know, I missed it. Well, it's a, look, I was going to say, how how is it compared to, like, oversized stuff like Batman War? Batman War is great. And, and look, Batman War, I know this was years ago, but this was only nine ninety five. But yes, I have the Batman War, the big oversized, and the Superman one. What is that, Peace on Earth? I need that book. I did not buy it when I should have. Oh, you don't have it? No, nope, I gotta find it. It's just I haven't. 
I haven't mm-hmm. seen them in the longest time, but yeah, I, I bought those too, I think, when they first came out. Yeah, I just, I have not found it. Oh yeah, Alex Ross. I'm actually looking it up right now. Oh yeah, that's Superman Peace on Earth, man. You'll you'll do flipping the page every page. You're like, I'm gonna hang this on my wall. Yes, you, you do. Oh yeah, and that's Let's just like up. Alex Ross's Justice series. All right, that is enough. Say way, this is about Constantine. You know, I don't, I'm I'm kind of excited. Like, if they do more with. Like the Justice League Dark, for lack of a better term. Yeah. In this book, but oh, was in, oh, but I, I forget. in the world of supernatural. Was it yesterday? Maybe Lilith and I were recording, and uh, I, you know, what I idea I had, and Lilith was like, "Oh yeah, they have to do that." You know, like since Constantine's going to be on Legends as like a regular now. Oh yeah. You know what we need? What we need. So, an episode of Legends, so he can play with John Constantine, directed by Kevin Smith. <laughs> I don't know. I put a quote out today that I think Kevin Smith is going to be really excited with this issue. So let's see Batman's genitals. I know. Oh, somebody should. Oh, has anyone tweeted at me? <laughs> I I thought about it. I was like, man, by the time like this, he's probably already got like a bunch of them. He's like, dude, I'm tired of hearing about it. Oh, oh wait, oh wait for the next episode of Fat Man on Batman. Oh, I'm sorry, Fat Man Beyond. He'll be like, "Oh yeah, we saw Batman stick Grayson, man. <laughs> it was great. People were mad at me because I made him pee himself. But man, why did Catwoman leave, man? I have to work no. on that. I might be able to do a Kevin Smith impression. I gotta work on that. It's not Twig Man on Batman with the Fat Man. <laughs> I. I'm going to reread this book because there's little stuff like, yeah. for example, just to highlight what you're saying, when we have this flashback of Bruce Wayne at night, he hears his parents talking, and there's always this uh, name, it looks like, that's said mm-hmm. in the dialogue, but it's always done as cursive handwriting. Mm, yeah. And Bruce is being plagued by what looks like a child, like an enchantress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And that's like what you were saying about the idea if Thomas had cheated on Martha. Well, now that I just said him, but that no, no, not not we're talking about it. I wonder if like if he is in hell or something. If that's like that never really happened, and like the woman trying to tempt his tempt his father, quote unquote, is like either enchantress or a demon or something. Yeah, I mean, um, taking what he loves and what he holds dear. Mm-hmm. Twisting it, like, because his, you know, like his baseline for his mission and who he is is what happened to his parents. And as a child, you know, you look at your parents and hold them in high esteem. And if if that's taken from him, what does that do to him? His psyche, his mental, his his desire to continue to be that man. Yeah, I wonder if like. I wonder if, like, hell or somebody's trying to break him down. We need more! I can't wait till Thanksgiving. That's crazy just to say. Like, when you, like if you said, oh, it's going to be out, like, you know, in two months. Okay. When you start putting in the timeline that that time period is Thanksgiving... Well then, and then think of the weird thing. If they do, if they, if they keep on that schedule, then the third issue won't be out till, like, the end of January. I told him, so this is sidestepping a little bit. We're talking about time. I was talking with Jania, who's about to start school next month, and it's a one year program. And I told her, I was like, you know, the next time that I have to pay on DCU Universe and renew our subscription, you will already have completed school and been working for like a couple of months. <laughs> I know, I know. I was talking to Danielle. I said, oh, yeah, I was. Because she's, she's like, oh, I would have paid for that for you. I'm like, oh, why don't you tell me? I'm like, but it's 15 months. I said, I think I'm good till like January 2020 or something. Yeah. I'm like, I hop on that $75 a year subscription. Oh, yeah. And you had an additional, like, what, four months or three months, something like that. I'm like, yeah. So I was just like, just putting that kind of like stuff in the times table of your life. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I won't have to pay for DC Universe again till like, it'll be too. 
two more Christmases before I have <laughs> this Christmas, next Christmas, nope, then change. Yeah, exactly. It's just nuts. I know. So, Batman, damn. All right, so anything else on this issue? I think we... No, I, I really think it's it's a lot to leave. If we wanted to take it, we could almost analyze it panel by panel. Yeah. But what I kind of like to do is I'd like to review it and, like, read this one again. When the second one comes out, read it, and then kind of re like, re-evaluate it mm-hmm. along with the second issue to kind of really see where the story is. I mean, that'll be our middle chapter. I mean, if it's only going to be three books, that's going to be a, the second one better be like some action. Like, yeah. Well, I'm thinking, well, when it hits in, in November, me and Lilf and, Lilf and I will probably be talking about that Legends episode of Legends of Tomorrow. But, I mean, if you want to come back, I mean, we can, three of us can maybe hit issue two. Oh, heck yeah. When it's late like this, I'm always free. Oh, yeah. I still think they missed the boat by not putting an issue of this out in uh, October. Especially Halloween is on a comic book Wednesday. Well, I'm like, with this artwork and these characters, I would really like just a story called, like, Batman Halloween. Like, I know there's the long Halloween, mm-hmm. but we review that. And, you know, it starts on Halloween, ends on Halloween. But I want, like, a, a story kind of like this that's set on Halloween night. Mm-hmm. It has all like the like Halloween and Gotham. You see kids in costumes, Batman on the street chasing whoever. Oh. You know the pumpkin. Just that imagery. Just that I'm, kind of book where every Halloween it's like you break it out. I'm trying to remember. It was in one of the trades. There, there was like a Legends of the Dark Knight special that took place on Halloween. I think it came out before Long Halloween. I think it was. It was just like a one shot though. I think. I just, I really want, like, like I said, I like every year I bust out at Christmas and read Lee Brahimo's Batman Noel, which mm-hmm. is Batman in a um, a Christmas Carol, basically, is what it is. We didn't, we didn't cover that for the podcast, did we? Nope, we talked about it because you, you got it for me. Maybe we got to do, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that this Christmas, even if we do it on that like actual Capes and Lunatics. We'll have, we'll have to do that somewhere. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, I did get for you. I kept talking about it. Like, yeah, I don't have it. Yes. Hey, it is time. So, I just, I want that really great Batman story that I can just, yeah. like, how many times let's pop this out every year and read it. Yeah, but I think they should have dropped this. They should have waited and dropped this first issue on Halloween. Actual, the actual day of Halloween, they could have dropped this issue. Yeah. I mean, it would have been awesome. Trick or treat! Here's Batman Schlong! I'm, I'm just kind of bummed that, like, uh, what was it? One person said, Oh, we'll finally know if Batman's circumcised or not. I'm like, Was that ever a thing? Like, is that something we thought of? <laughs> like, man, he's out there fighting crime. I hope he's, you know, is he a hooded warrior? Is that why they call it the Oh, jeez. So, but yeah, I think it, it's just one of those making a big deal out of nothing. But, yeah, I think it was just to get attention. <laughs> it was like we need to earn this black label thing. And I think, it, I mean, everything I every every comment I've seen so far on online, it, that's what they mention is. <laughs> and it, it's kind of sad because it overshadows the story and like kind of like why is it there? Kind of like, um, you know, like the whole him being naked. Like, I feel like there's significance in the story of why he is. That's what that's what I'm thinking. It's it's either a mental thing or he's in hell or so. Yeah, I'm thinking it's it's symbolic or something. Yeah. So I just and then it just feels like the story gets overshadowed with everyone like you're a bad word. But, All right. I don't know, man. So should we get out of here? Let's get out of here. I, I got a little boy that needs to go to bed. He's not going to want to go to bed. Yeah, that's right. All right, everyone. Uh, like I said, Newcastle back in the fall. Uh, me and Lil will be talking some legends. We'll get Tyler back in here when issue two of uh, Batman Damned comes out. Who knows who'll be naked in that one? Uh, Robin, just Robin randomly shows up in the background. Yeah, wow. that's what I'm waiting for. So Maybe. send us, 
So send us your thoughts on this book, on uh, Legends When It Hits, NewcastleCrew at gmail.com. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash NewcastleCrewPodcast, at NewcastleCrew and at CL Sidekicks on Twitter. Follow Newcastle Crew and CL Sidekicks on Instagram and the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And Tyler, where can people hear you talk DC on a regular basis? Well, on a regular basis, you can find me over at the Krypton Report, where I talk about all things Superman and Superman related. Um, sometimes I make an appearance on the Capes and Lunatics when my schedule allows, but you know how that is. So, <clears throat> but yeah, find me at Krypton Report. Uh, doc, let's see, Krypton Report on Facebook, Krypton Report on Twitter, Instagram. Krypton Report pod at, g- at gmail.com. Check us out. We're gonna be, we just we have an awesome interview episode coming up here soon. I'm um, just waiting for it to post, and it's it's really great. Nice. And uh, anyone wants to do an interview, Matt Ryan, we're still looking for you. Uh, NightwingPDP at gmail.com and on Twitter, I am at NightwingPDP. That stands for Phil is the man. Perish. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be kissing my butt more. You or Charlie? <laughs> the great, the, the, the great interviews we had lately, like when I talked to Brian Edward Hill about uh, his Detective Comics work, and he's coming back when Titans dropped in the first two episodes of Titans. And then Will and I just talked to Fabian Saiza. I think that's how he says it. I forget. I'll tell you what, man. October is a DC month. Oh yeah, um, yeah, all the CW stuff comes back, uh, Titans yeah. drops, yeah. I was like, Titans, like, all the Berlin to DC. Yeah. <laughs> That's like Lowe's with Matt, he's like, are they trying to take your attention away from the Arrowverse? Like, no, I think they're just... That's dropping. all the same thing. I think it just dropped me in there with it. I, I feel like Titans is kind of like Black Lightning, where if they wanted to tie it in, Eventually, yeah. they could, but they don't have to. Talk about your black label. That's Batman! <laughs> <laughs>